So we bought this giant beer biscuit from Costco, and we're gonna show you how to cook it and meal prep it for the week. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kevin. My wife, Alice, and I have lost 60 pounds together on our keto and carnivore journey. I'm gonna butcher this 10 pound brisket that we got from Costco into three individual portions and show you how we meal prep it in our slow cooker. Now, if you want a cheap option other than ground beef, brisket's a great way to go. If you're on a keto or a carnivore diet, brisket's an optimal cut of meat because it has a 70 to 30 fat to protein ratio and it's one of the cheapest cuts of beef or red meat available. So this whole 10 pound brisket only costs $58 Canadian or about $11.49 a kilo, which works out to be about $5 US a pound. We've gone to several different local butchers to buy brisket in the past, but we found Costco to be the cheapest, except you have to buy a giant piece. So our plan was to buy a larger portion from Costco, meal prep it in the slow cooker over a few days and have it ready for freezer meals in the future. This recipe is super simple. All it takes is salt and a little bit of bone broth or beef broth. The reason we're meal prepping such a huge chunk of meat is because Alice is 34 weeks pregnant and we want to be as prepared as possible for the postpartum period. We wanted to make sure we're not in a pinch to make dinner, so we want to have some freezer meals on hand so we're not forced to order in or get takeout. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I have a really sharp knife. We've never done this before, so this is kind of an experiment for the both of us. Believe it or not, this was actually the smallest package of brisket they had. Most of them were actually double the size and cost about hundred bucks, but you get 20 pounds of meat at once. This is definitely the cheapest option for beef outside of eating ground beef. Nice change from eating ground beef if you're tired of that on a carnivore diet and you're looking for an economical way of eating. We've made this before, but with smaller two or three pound briskets. This thing is huge. Holy crap. You can see there's a giant fat cap on the top here. This will all, well, a lot of this will melt during the cooking process and keep the meat super juicy and tender. And then you can see here the, the grain is going this way. Super tough if you don't cook it really low and slow. A lot of people like to smoke these over super long times and that's a great way to eat them barbecue style. What I think I'm gonna do is cut, cut it into pieces that will fit in our seven quart slow cooker. We'll cut it into three pieces this way. I'm hoping to get enough for a meal for me and Alice in one container. So three pounds of meat between the two of us will be more than enough with some leftovers, I think. This thing is huge. Okay, let's try this. I know there's a part of the brisket that's called the point and the flap, and you can see there's a line of fat there. And those cook sort of set differently. I don't have the butchery skills to separate that nicely, so I'm just gonna cut it into three pieces. Let's just try that first. Here we go. Okay, so there's piece number one. I think that's mostly the flat part. Make sure you have a really sharp knife to do this because the fat in the brisket's pretty thick. We split them up into three, about three and a half pound pieces. What we'll do is we'll freeze two of them and we'll prep one for the soaking. Bit. So we'll prep this end piece of the brisket for the slow cooker. I'm pretty sure this is the piece they use for burnt ends in barbecue, so it should be pretty tender. So the cooking process is actually really easy. All we have to do is grab our brisket. This will work for any brisket up to four pounds, I'm thinking, or just anything that will fit into your slow cooker. Throw it fat side down first, take some salt. We really like this Redmond's Real Salt. It's a pretty big piece of meat, so you want to use quite a bit of salt. So for the backside, we'll use about a teaspoon. Make sure all sides are coated with salt. I can lift this thing. It's freaking heavy. Flip it to the side. It's easy to taste, but for this piece, we used about two teaspoons of salt in total. So that's it for seasonings. Now, normally we just add a little bit of water to the bottom, maybe about half a cup or a cup. But today we're gonna to be adding some beef broth just to add a little bit more flavor, but I don't think it's needed. You can just go a little bit of water. Just pour it down the side so you don't get all the salt off the beef. 
We'll add about a cup of water to this. So for a piece this size, you want to cook this for a minimum of eight hours on low. It could take up to 10 hours, but just check it to make sure it's tender and fall apart. So the brisket was on the slow cooker for eight hours on low. I took it out and I put it on the chopping board just to cool down so it's easy to chop up and put away into containers. So this is what it ended up looking like. Start off with about a three pound brisket and cook down to this. It looks and smells amazing. I left the fat cap on so that it would just render into the beef as it cooked over the eight hours. I think you're safe anywhere up to 10 hours cooking it on low. So the key is you want to find the grain and cut against it to make it a little bit tender and easier to eat. The tricky part is the grain looks the same on both these. I think I'll just cut it in half and then hope for the best. Grain looks like it's going this way, up down, so. Oh wow, it cuts like butter. Holy. Okay, that was against the grain. So each of these halves is about a pound and a half of meat. One half of these will be enough for me and Alice for one meal. We might need to add a little bit extra, but it's about three quarters of a pound of meat each. So I'll try and cut these into about three quarter inch thick slices and then put them away in our freezer containers. Wow, it's so tender. Okay, there we go. It cut up into six pieces, about three quarters inch thick. Now we'll just put these into containers. So I'll divide these pieces of brisket into two boxes. Yeah, these are just a pack of freezer safe boxes that we got from Costco. You could just probably throw the whole brisket into a Ziploc bag and throw it, freeze it that way. So I pulled out all the cooking liquid from the slow cooker and I put it into this fat separator and I'm just going to pour some of the cooking liquid on top so when we reheat it either in a pan or in the microwave it'll stay moist. I'm not going to use, use it all, just enough to basically keep it partially submerged, maybe halfway. As you can see a lot of the fat separates on top and I want to save some of that for when we're reheating it. So I'll just scoop up pure fat from the top of the separator and just pour it over. There is still quite a bit of fat left on the brisket because we left the fat cap on when it was cooking. Sometimes the butcher will chop it off for you if you request that. So I probably scooped up about half the fat that's included in the cooking liquid and I threw it into the containers. And we'll let these just fully cool completely and then we'll seal them up and put them in the freezer. They should last for up to three months. If you liked our video today, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're first to know when we upload a new video. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite foods are to meal prep on a keto or a carnivore diet. Until next time.